Secret Affair Now Wow! A radio drama written by Rebecca Moni and produced by Sipran Joseph for Nollywood Radio France. <laughs> What, Ashley? Are you stalking me? What? What do you mean? Don't you dare raise your voice at me. Sit down. I oh. said sit down. Okay, Ashley. Let's all calm down. I'm sitting back down. Why am I here? Tell me why I'm here. Can you tell me, Ashley, why I'm here? First, I'm going to ask you this question again. And what I want is the truth. Who is this she you were talking about over the phone? What the hell? We're back on that subject again? I already told you I was talking about my... Uh, about... Uh, 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 about my auntie. So just drop it, Ashley. Yummy, you hesitated. You hesitated. Which means you either forgot who you told me, or you are just plain lying. Ah, Ashley, why do you want to disgrace me? Why? Is that your plan? To bring me to the most Nigerian place in this country? To disgrace me, yeah, me? Me, yeah, me? You want these people to know me as the guy who is fighting and cheating on, on a white girl? Is that what you want? Tell me, is that what you want, Ashley? Wow. I don't even know if your English is just bad because you don't know how to properly express yourself or because you are Nigerian. Number one, you address me as a girl. Like I am incapable of speaking for myself and or the ability to defend myself. Mugwil, go see Big Big Grandma. That was not what I said. You have successfully mangled everything I said. In fact, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I remember. Allow me to remind you. Who is the she you were talking about this morning? And I want the truth. All you men are all the same. White men, black men, say the damn thing. All a bunch of liars. You told me you loved me. You wanted me to have your baby. You wanted us to live forever and ever together. You can get married. We have been dating for four months now. Even though I don't see you as often as I should, I didn't really think anything of it. Because when we are together, we spend the whole time together. Calm down, Ashley. Please lower your voice and sit down. Let's talk about this like civilized people, okay? You want me to calm down and lower my voice? This is about me embarrassing you? Are you mad? Are you crazy? You know, I should have known better. <laughs> In the four months we were dating, you met almost all of my friends and a few of my family members. And I have never met any of your friends, except for Dale. And that encounter was a total coincidence. Honestly, that call isn't what you think. I don't know why you are reacting. As for my friends, that's not a problem. We will set up a date and I'll get all of them in one location. That's not a problem at all, okay? How about we get right down to business? Let me tell you why I'm here. I'm pregnant, Yummy. And yes, it is your child. See, I didn't want to introduce you to my father because he is overprotected and honestly, I didn't want him to scare you away. Seeing that I'm pregnant, I don't think you will ever be able to do that. I'm afraid I haven't been completely honest with you about who I really am. <laughs> I feel a little bad since seeing you have been completely honest with me throughout this whole thing. Anyway, let's bygones be bygones and start all over. My name is Ashley Gucciano, 
Dale knows that name very well. Hey, Gondo. I am you. You are the granddaughter or daughter of the late Gucciano? Ah! Yes, you are somewhat correct. I just want to let you know I will be sharing this good news with my entire family both in Italy and New York. Congratulations, Jimmy. You're going to be a papa. Oh, before I forget, um, what other secrets you think you are hiding from me? My daddy has a way of fishing them out. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to the family. Oh, and Mundy is our first doctor's visit. I'll call you later with the details. That wouldn't be a problem, would it? God forbid, Barton. <laughs> Why would that be a problem? Like I said, you can call me anytime. Call me, no problem. Oh, I don't understand what you said earlier, but okay. I gotta go, baby. My clients are waiting for me. Oh, and baby, I'm sorry I was angry at you. I don't even know what came over me. I guess this baby is already screaming with my emotions. <laughs> All right, baby, I'll call you later. Bye, I love you. Have a nice, um, oh. What is it? What did I do? I, I didn't do anything. I said, I love you. <laughs> I, I, I love you so much. In fact, 50 million times. Talk to you soon. Bye, hon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Save Johnny. Save Johnny. Hello, Chooks, 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 you there there? Yeah, yeah, hello, hello, Nami, guy, what's the day after? Oh, guy, I don't fuck up. This is a major fuck up, boy. Ah, what are they, oh? Ah, you are dumb gas. Ah, what are they, boy, man? Wait, so what are you talking about? Which day you fuck up, so hello? I beg, I beg, I beg, no holler me. I say, you are dumb gas. You the holler me. What did happen? Hello, you hear the thing where they talk? I did Lagos Island Cafe on Highway 6. Call the boys, make Kuna meet me there in 30 minutes. Sharp, sharp. Guy, you don't tell me anything. You don't tell me anything, no. Come to me, give me emergency call. Are you asking me to call the boys? What will I tell them? Just tell the boys, Godfather Gucciano. You and the boys already know who he is, man. Chai, Urubu's Katata, God forgive. What have you done, man? Hey, 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 not before phone where we could talk this kind of talk, man. I see you and the boys meet me where I tell you. Make when I make them sharp, sharp. Hey, okay. something is about to go down. That means not bad luck, man. Chai, bros. You've been listening to Secret Affair, written by Rebecca Monye and produced by Cyprian Johnson for Nollywood Radio France. Ashley was played by Laura Kilpatrick Cripps. Yemi was played by Cyprian Johnson and Chooks was played by Cyril Odenibo. What next? Find out what happens in the next episode of Secret Affair.